visual elegy by the interpretation through the collected photographs of fragmentary sculpture, which is an aesthetic resultant in a ceramic tradition extending from archaeological shards and shattered relics of the very ancient earthquakes throughout the world to the principle that anticipation can rule the durability of form, the aspiration is to lament all catastrophic destruction. The specifics of the Japanese disaster with its multitude of deaths and the natural portents. However, the hope is also to encourage the ceramists and potters of Mashiko and to assure, reassure the people of Japan, the Tochigi Prefecture and the Tohoku region of the Fukushima Prefecture, that their problems with the earthquake, the tsunami, and the nuclear disaster are of concern to the world where our sympathy is felt to be entirely obligatory, although compassion is inevitable in such a situation. The idea that a small shard of a once intact piece, something like a cuneiform tablet or a wine jar, might come to be a value and singular representative of the whole to take its place in studies and museum exhibits with documentation, scientific papers, and catalogs of reference is something to inspire crafts, people, artists, and archaeologists. It becomes the anthropological enigma, assigning speculation as to who made the work and comprised the culture, with questions regarding its uses and history, culminating in the events of its ultimate fate, its disposition. Considering that art is ephemeral, the appreciation is for the ancient damaged but fascinating statues, busts, and shards. To complement this, it is rational to fabricate sculpture with broken facets. This is similar to the torn edges of handmade paper or surfaces prepared specifically for art. Even so, the sculptor is, after creation, a spectator watching to see the work endure, vanish, or be, in the course to eternity, destroyed without a trace. A broken work has a quality of durability that transcends the fragility delicate, undamaged ceramic base. The point of this is focused upon the bases produced as stage props to be deliberately broken in the filming of a show. They are involved in a portrayal of violence or accident. The soul of the shattered object persists as the image in the film. This is the essence of its purpose. Fine artists such as the Chinese celebrity Ai Weiwei often have a point of focus in documentation wherein they are seen in a deliberate phase as <coughs> destroyer. Thus, there is the documentation of Ai Weiwei purposefully dropping what appears to be an ancient and valuable relic vase, which is completely destroyed in the deliberate process. Yet this is a matter of illusion because the object is not genuinely old, but an authentic replication. Such was not the case in regard to the loss of the works by the Japanese artists. They lost their stock, their finest examples, and even the means of creativity, the workshops and kilns. On the coast, they lost even more, their friends, their very lives. In this perspective, a creative person experiences humility. All the contemporary examples the creations sent forth into the culture and course of civilization have been placed into the real world to endure like the souls of living beings. We are to observe their presence and at times their passing. The demise as the death of the object becomes even the loss of the documentation, the photograph or description, until forgetfulness has produced a universal amnesia. And yet there will be more to replace that which is missing. The exhibition is built, lost, and rebuilt. The real purpose is the building and the transient enjoyment in contemplating each object installed in its environment. The actual accomplishment changes the individual in a way that may be objectively trivial, but the change is a caress that influences the subjective state to elevate the awareness of a spirit and make what is recognized as an improvement of the universe. To conclude, the relic shards and chipped statues have become the aesthetic fragments and dramatic wrecks in anticipation that there will be magic realism, illusions, and objects destroyed by mistakes or accidents. We are all spectators and by memory 
We become the historians of this complete observation, which remains indefinite through renewal. Like the rocks, the ceramic will be eroded, returning to dust, a form forgotten, but an influence perpetuated in several configurations. This is our joy in remembrance and a prayer for the sake of our loss. We have transcended beyond the lost battle. We have been told about immortal presence. 